Have you ever tried out a new recipe and thought, we are so tired of the same chicken dinners, beef dinners, pasta dinners, and thinking, I want to try something different. And then you go to try it, and you think either this is going to be a great success, and we're all going to eat it and enjoy it, or it's going to be a big failure. It's going to feel like it was too many extra steps. What were the weird ingredients? The kids wouldn't end up eating it anyway. Well, successes and failures are exactly what we try in motherhood. We see things that are working. We want to try new ways when things aren't working. And that's how I was feeling in 2020 into 2021. Things weren't working. Something needed to change. And I recognized that we had this great opportunity on our upcoming vacation that we were finally going to get out of our walls. And it was going to be, how can I take that vac vacation and maximize it? Where can I get all of the refresh that I wanted? I wanted my heart, my body, my mind, my soul, all of me to feel like I was recharged. I thought, how can I do that? So in today's video, I'm going to be going over with you how that vacation went, right? I talked to you before I left on the vacation and said, all right, this is what I was going to be putting into place so that I could maybe get better results and not feel so worn down after the vacation. And today, I want to share with you, well, how did it go? What worked, what didn't, and how can you implement this into your healthy lifestyle and into a future vacation? Here we go. Hi friends, welcome back to Tranquility Moms. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Katherine Gardner. I am one of the moms on our team. We are health practitioners, licensed, certified clinicians, and we provide education and encouragement to you all about healthy living and about spirituality. We're so glad that you're here. Subscribe, join our channel. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at post-vacation do-it-yourself wellness travel results. A couple of weeks ago, and I'll post the video up above, I posted my planning for vacation, right? We talked about there are four steps when you're thinking about a vacation. You go through the planning phase, you're identifying the packing phase, what should we bring, what do I need with me, what will help me to incorporate wellness into this vacation. Maybe a coordination of local resources or resort amenities, and then time to enjoy on that vacation. Well, this year in 2021, we had the opportunity to travel down to Florida. And you can get more of the details in that previous video. It was 17 of us on the vacation, a big family gathering. It was so good to be together and see each other for the week. And I want to share with you that I did it. I put into place, using the model of the five parts of wellness, L-E-A-N-S, our LEANS model, and I incorporated it right into the vacation, and some parts were a success, and some parts I slipped and didn't keep up with, and that's okay too. But let's take a look at, is it worth it? Does it work? Can it be applied for your next vacation? Let's go through those five parts of a wellness trip. The Wellness Tourism Association says that travel that enhances or maintains or even kickstarts a healthy lifestyle, right? Improving or increasing one's well-being. And I said, yes, I want to do that. So I took my health coaching techniques and I said, well, let's apply it right into a vacation. So I took the Dr. Sears L-E-A-N model, and then I added in the X for spirituality. I really feel like that is a key piece of how we're going to recharge ourselves, body, mind, and soul. So my L was a lifestyle. I was going on this vacation with intention, with a plan to make choices throughout every day that would give me the opportunity to feel like my body was stronger, feel like I had the energy to walk around the Disney parks, feel like I was making choices at night to not stay up or when I wanted to stay up to get adequate sleep, 
what were going to be the nutrition and food choices all throughout the week. I was being intentional um, that I wanted to put good wellness into my body. Taking time for my mind. Was I taking time to journal and just sit in quiet, right? With a vacation with that many people, you do need moments where you're just in peace and quiet. And then spirituality, I was able to allow myself in the beauty of palm trees are my favorite, sitting in a chair and just adoring God's beauty and sitting with my statements of gratitude. Next was my E for exercise. And I thought the way that I could get up and get moving was going for a morning walk. All of the cousins, they would get up together, they were super cute, they'd go over by the TV and all sit with their blankets or their lovies and watch TV for a little while while all the parents were sort of getting started and getting breakfast going. So sometimes it was before breakfast or sometimes it was after breakfast, but I would just take a casual walk around the community. It was the peace of the morning. It was the chance for me to start the day refreshed, clear-headed, breathing, getting my muscles moving, right? Activating my cardio, getting in touch with my body and kind of working out any soreness from too much walking at an outdoor activity the day before. So I really tried to do that. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I, my sister-in-law on the trip was way better at keeping to her exercise than I was. Um, I wish I had done it more often on the trip. I really did start to get fatigued and it was very, very hot. <laughs> so unfortunately, even first thing in the morning was like, oh, okay, we're gonna step outside into that thick humidity and get outside. So I was like, oh, some days I, was, I wasn't up for it. Um, but I did, I knew that if I was in the mood and if I needed to get rid of some tension or I needed to put my mind into a clearer place, I knew that that walk was an option for myself, right? That's how this model is so great because you're, you're just doing it yourself. So you know what the possibilities can be. Next was A on our Lean's model. And I chose the word warmth. And it was very sweet. I was in a good attitude. I was in a good place. All the different parts of our planning for maybe a day trip or what we were eating for a meal, I was in a place of warmth. And I chose that. I knew that that would help me to draw closer to my siblings, to my parents, to my husband, and to my kids. And it was sweet. We had very fun moments by the pool or the girls all sat around and did a nail salon with each other and I could smile and feel my joy on the trip. Next was the N for nutrition. Well, I did. I told you. I promised I was going to be drinking my water. With that kind of heat and humidity, I knew that I needed my 11 and a half cups, right? Grab a measuring cup and measure it out for yourself per day. And there were some days where I still don't even think that was enough. It was very, very hot while we were there. So paying attention to my body signals, paying attention to the dryness in your mouth, right? A, a sign that you're dehydrated, fogginess, um, being overheated, knowing, okay, I need to replenish with a drink or a Gatorade that I know is going to give me the replenish that I need, making sure that I'm taking, staying away from like sweet drinks or a lot of alcohol and making sure that I was doing that water. I also told you in the video, my other N was that I was gonna do two fruits. I was gonna pick a fruit at breakfast and a fruit at lunch. Hey, that was a big win. I feel like I plugged it into all the meals and snacks. While we were down there, we would cut up the moms would all cut up all of these bowls of fruit in the morning and the kids would all eat them with their meals. Um, and it's cute, right? Because once one cousin eats it, then the other like, oh, what are you eating? I'll have some too. So they would, they would watch each other and, and follow suit. But I was, we had such an abundance of fruit, right? Florida has wonderful markets and, and everything that we shopped at the stores. So we had the freshest of fruits and an opportunity to really make sure I was staying hydrated from that option as well. But it was giving me that great fiber so that everything that I was eating, my digestive tract knew that it was doing a great job slowly processing it um, and pulling out its best nutrients of the good foods that I was eating. And last on that Lean's model, 
My plan was to read for my spirituality. I love my book, Mom Set Free, uh, by Jeannie Cunyon, and I have this book on the KatherineGardner.com um, resource for moms page. We have an Amazon affiliate link to it. We'd love for you to support Tranquility Moms and purchase this book. What a wonderful read. Um, she is just so personable and just a lovely, lovely person and a mom who gets it. Um, but she's incorporating really how we can be released from all of the pressures and perfectionism we put onto ourselves and how we can find ourselves set free by allowing God to guide us and to know that he has our children's best interests at all times. Oh, how beautiful. I also made sure that I was stopping and quiet in prayer on the vacation. Um, sometimes just moments of gratitude that we were all healthy and had the blessing to be on this trip together. Reading, I have that Bible app, uh, the YouVersion Bible app on my phone. So if I was using my phone, I tried real hard to stay away from technology during the week, and that was recharging, um, not clogging me with a lot of mess and noise, that I was able to be on this trip and just listen to God's Word and see how did those words apply to me, apply to the type of life I really want to be living every day. So let me share with you success or failure, right? It's like the new recipe you're trying. You just think, oh gosh, okay, I think this is going to work. I would have rated myself at a battery level of two before I went on vacation. And next week I'm going to be talking more about low battery and what are the symptoms of a low battery. But I really would rate myself at a two before I left. I could feel that I had more aches and pains in my body. I could tell that I was running on empty, um, getting us through work and the rest of summer activities to try to plan and just eager to get away. Um, mind, yeah, tired, low concentration, feeling like I was in some of that brain fog before we left. Uh, and then my soul, you know, I have. I've been, I've been really trying to put an effort into making sure that I do put aside time every day, but I knew that I could use a kickstart um, to really remember how wonderful it feels to be in prayer and reading the word and believing and trusting. So I'd mark myself at a battery of two before I left, and results... My postpartum vacation do-it-yourself wellness travel results, here we go, I would say I came home at a four. So I'm not going to mark myself all the way at the total battery charge of a five, and I'll tell you why. But at the four, I really did feel like I doubled where I was when I left. My body, I had relaxed it, I felt the tension go away in my shoulder muscles, I felt like that eating well, I could see that my body was getting fluids and energy, my mind, we were doing so much laughing and I had such a good attitude on the trip. I also felt like I had taken quiet, right, between the morning walks and sometimes just a quiet moment I'd be in another room or outside where the group was doing other things. And that helped me so much. So I would rate myself at a four at the end of the vacation. And you say, okay, well, is that enough, right? You say, well, I want to put this do-it-yourself wellness to the test in your next vacation. Planning and packing and coordinating and then getting ready to enjoy the trip. And you say, I want to go on this trip and feel like I've really done everything I can to add wellness to it because I believe in the results at the end. And that's where I want you to be realistic. When we got on this vacation, we knew there were going to be stressors. Getting there, right, travel is always messy. Well, during a pandemic, it has added stresses to it. So getting there, coming back, it was hard on us. Um, being there in a big group, making sure everybody was healthy and happy, that was on my mind throughout the trip. Um, 
Also the heat, right? Something we just couldn't control. That was wearing. It, it was very, very hot. And so to want to be outside and enjoying and maximizing everything we could see and do together, um, but we were pretty wiped out from that. So I'd say, okay, I didn't quite get to the five. And then it was, there were distractions or things that I would slip back and not take the time for myself. And I started to feel that battery drain again. So I believe in this model. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm sharing this with you. I share the YouTube videos. Shayla has been working on the wonderful blog posts. Check those out. Funny writer. Um, she's a wonderful sweet mom and she gets it. As a Christian, as a therapist, she's writing and explaining to you a little more detail about do-it-yourself wellness travel. And as you think ahead, where would you like to go next? Right? Tell us in the comments below. Did you try taking a trip in 2021 for the first time? And what would you say? I mean, did you feel recharged afterwards? Did you feel like you were totally rejuvenated? Or did you feel like, gosh, I needed a vacation after my vacation? Darn. Um, tell us. Tell us what it was like for you. And then that's where we want you to test this out for yourself. Put this model to the test, success or failure, you know, post your vacation. Tell us, what did you find that you liked about it? Did you find this um, acronym easy to follow and think about? Give the video a thumbs up. That is the best compliment that you can give us. That shows other moms that this information is helpful. We want to give, bring education and encouragement to all moms. We believe that we have a really tough job. And in order to be fully committed, being able to nurture others magnificently, you need a fully recharged battery. Thank you for being here at Tranquility Moms. My name is Katherine Gardner, and today, take care of yourself.